Whether busting clays or hunting birds, I love a fine shotgun. And I have one in my hands today from a company with bloodlines in the gun industry from 1751. Can you imagine that? And guess what? I'm Kristen for guns.com and this is the Sour SL5. Woo! Birds beware. Let's check this baby out on the range. The motto of the SL5 is instinctive speed and timeless elegance. This gun was built to bridge the gap between those hunters who like an over and under or a side by side double, but are now maybe looking to move into the semi-automatic shotgun market with this inertia driven gun. You're getting very similar lines and a similar feel when you cheek the gun, a fast moving, fast cycling gun that'll get you on those moving bird targets quickly. It's smooth, the recoil is manageable, and this is just a really sleek feeling gun that is slim enough to have good feel, but thick enough at the palm to fill the hand. As we take a closer look at the gun here, we'll see very fine checkering, really nicely done, which gives you great purchase in the field. And where we usually see a right-handed palm swell, this has a palm swell actually on both sides. So even though it's a slim line, it gets a little fatter at that edge. So that fills the hand nicely. Even with my smaller hands, I find it comfortable. We do have a length of pull here that's 14.4 inches. I find that a little long for me. I can get used to throwing that up like that, no problem, and fit the gun. But if I buy this gun, and I'm seriously thinking that I might, the nice thing is you have enough distance here at the toe from the sling swivel to the butt end where I could trim off a solid inch there and fit this gun to myself a little bit better. And that's a nice option to have where a lot of these guns will run that swivel right to the back and you don't have the option of trimming off. Let's just take a closer look at the features on the SL5. Starting right here from the muzzle end is the interchangeable choke, which we can fit. And it includes five different chokes from cylinder on up to full. Three of those will accept Magnum steel shot so you can take it out after waterfall. We've got a nice bright red fiber optic front short bead there on the seven millimeter matted rib. So you're not gonna get a glare on that rib. The rib all the way back. A nice matte finish on the metalwork, so you're not again getting that glare in the field because this is built as a hunting gun. The interesting thing here, which I think is a great idea that I wish more gun manufacturers would do, we see the sling swivel here and again here at the butt. But what they do is have a push button quick release swivel. So if you're hunting and you want the swivel on there, you do. If you want to take it off so it's out of the way, just like that with a push of the button, you can add or remove either sling swivel. So that's just a really nice design touch. We see the walnut here, which is laser enhanced, is really amazing looking. And it is, this is not a pressed wood or a cheaper product that we see coming, sadly, from some of the other manufacturers that are then just hydro dipping a wood grain. This is actually walnut that's enhanced. When we look at the inside of that forend, we can see that walnut grain. As we come back and look here at the gun, we see not the super oversized controls that we're seeing on a lot of the gut duck guns, but a little bit more classy, the smaller and understated with attention to detail, the nicely engraved sour there on that bolt release button. All the same controls we're used to seeing on the regular Italian inertia guns. And coming back here, we have included shims to adjust that drop and cast off. And if we wanted to throw an optic on here to maybe do some turkey hunting, we do have that groove top receiver. So that's a nice addition there as well. And you'll see just very nice attention to detail throughout the gun here. Kind of a rounded shape to that receiver is just very pleasant. And the fit and finish here is very tight. The SL5 may be built as a workhorse, and that it does. It hasn't missed a beat, but it's also built to be an elegant and aesthetic gun, and I definitely find that to be the case. Sauer & Son makes fine guns. These are imported through Blazer USA. We are familiar with Blazer and Mauser from those fine rifles and shotguns that they make. So this is just a continuation of that quality of gun. Now the really interesting thing here, this gun was launched a few years ago with an MSRP of 1895. While we're here in 2020, I've actually picked this gun up from the guns.com vault at a listed price of 799. When you can get that quality of a shotgun for that price, 
I don't know why there's any still available. And that's not because I'm plugging for guns.com, but when you can find this gun for that price, it's a no-brainer. When you partner a company like J.P. Sauer & Son that's been building fine firearms in Germany since 1751 and add in when they want to make an inertia gun, they work with the best in the business. We know that the Italians have a long history of building the finest inertia drive shotguns and to that end, they partner with Breda in Italy to use that inertia drive gun on the Sauer & Son SL5. And I'll tell you what. We've put quite a few rounds through here and this gun just does not miss a beat. I'm going to throw in one light target load and back it up with one high brass load and you're going to see the gun never skips a beat. Pull them. Just like that, as fast as you want to pull the trigger, get on those birds or the clays, this gun will do what you need to do. I'm so glad you joined me today on the range as we busted some clays and took a look at the Sauer SL5 for my first time ever shooting a Sauer shotgun and I hope you enjoyed what we saw today. I certainly am impressed and I'd like to hear what you have to say as well. So head on over to guns.com for the full review. Also give us a like, share and subscribe to that channel so that you see videos like this coming your way on new and classic hunting guns. <music>